Hey guys, Doug Childs here, Little Warriors and Wild Men New Year's 2019 Dougcast. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna like this one or not, but <laughs> it's a doozy. It'll set the <laughs> It'll set the stage for the new year. Y'all ready? Hey, this is uh, this one's gonna leave a mark. I guarantee you. Uh, my good buddy and mentor from many moons ago, Leonard Ravenhill, gave this uh, gave this to Mary Margaret and I. Gosh, thirty years ago, and I thought it's apropos to uh, toss into your court, and my court, again on fresh two thousand and nineteen soil. Brace yourself, man. Put on a cup. This one's gonna hurt. Matthew 16, 24 through 25, Jesus says, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. All right, now check this out. Here we go. Buckle up, man. If God has called you to be truly like Jesus in all your spirit, he'll draw you into a life of crucifixion and humility. He will put on you such demands of obedience that you will not be allowed to follow other Christians. In many ways, he seems to let other good people do things which he will not let you do. Others seem to be very religious and useful, and they may push themselves, pull wires, and scheme to carry out their plans, but guess what? You cannot. And if you attempt it, you will meet with such failure and rebuke from the Lord as to make you sorely penitent. Others can brag about themselves, their work, and their successes, their writings, but the Holy Spirit will not let you do such a thing. If you begin to do so, He'll lead you into some deep mortification that will make you despise yourself and all your good works. Others will be allowed to succeed in making great sums of money, or having a legacy left to them, or in having luxuries, but God may supply you only on a day-to-day basis, because He wants you to have something far better than gold a helpless dependence on him and his unseen treasury. The Lord may let others be honored and put forward while keeping you hidden in obscurity because he wants to produce some choice fragrant fruit for his coming glory, which can only be produced in the shade. God may let others be great, but keep you small. He may let others do a work for him and get the credit, but he may... (laughs) But he will make you work and toil without knowing how much you're doing. Then to make your work still more precious, he will let others get the credit for the work which you've done. This to teach you the message of the cross, humility, and something of value of being cloaked with this thing called his nature. The Holy Spirit will put such a strict watch on you and with a jealous love rebuke you for careless words and feelings, which other Christians never seem distressed over. So make up your mind that God is an infinite sovereign and he has a right to do as he pleases with his own and that he may not explain to you a thousand things which may puzzle your reason in his dealings with you. God will take you at your word if you absolutely sell yourself to be his slave He will wrap you up in a jealous love and let other people say and do many things that you can't. So settle it forever that you're to deal directly with the Holy Spirit. He is to have the privilege of tying your tongue or chaining your hand or closing your eyes in which ways others are not dealt with. However, know this great secret of the kingdom. When you are so completely possessed with the living God that you are, in your secret heart, pleased and delighted over this peculiar, personal, private, jealous guardianship and management of the Holy Spirit over your life, you will have found the vestibule of heaven, the high calling of God. Hey, this is Doug Childs. You're listening to the Warriors and Wild Men podcast, 2019 Dougcast edition. And uh, I don't know about you, but that podcast hurt. And yet we need to be hurt because we are some goofy, arrogant, self-obsessed me monkeys who say we follow the lowly Nazarene. Peace out, and uh, follow us on Wars and Wild Men. Adios.